Priti Patel has come out once again to promise to stop the illegal crossing by 100%. She's turning out to be one of the worst Home Secretaries that we've had and I've been very tolerant. At first I was supportive. I thought that she was going to be, in the words of Theresa May, strong and stable. But she clearly cannot handle her own team. She cannot handle her department, the border force and all the, all the other people and also the, the obstacles of uh, the activist lawyers that we have. Now she's come out to say that I will stop 100% of migrant crossings from France. I'm sure we've heard that before somewhere. I can't remember where. Oh, yeah, it was 2019. Priti Patel said the same thing. She said by next year, the whole thing will stop. Well, it hasn't happened, has it? We waited and waited and waited. A lot of people were criticizing her from day one. I was quite patient. Not anymore. Because there have been some good news, by the way. Almost good news. And I'm going to be objective because it could be good. But it could also cause a lot of trouble. So she was supposed to meet with the French government. Uh, yesterday and both well, Sunday and yesterday and that didn't happen because of what happened in Liverpool so they decided to have a chat uh, virtually over the phone or zoom and uh, what happened was is that she was clearly frustrated you know she probably shouted at the French rightly so because the French government are responsible as well as the home office it's not just the one-way street we get that but they have now said so the French, there was a joint statement coming from both governments. Uh, they said that both the Home Secretary and the Interior Minister of France agreed to strengthen operational cooperation further. More must be done to stop the dangerous crossings. Do you really believe the French when they say this, considering Macron's elections coming up next year? Not really sure. But they have tried to, you know, in a, in a gesture of goodwill, to do one big thing. Now... Yesterday and today, uh, France uh, decided to go to Dunkirk and shot down one of the big migrant camps that they have there because this is the camp that a lot of the illegal migrants uh, used to then escape and uh, essentially get on the boats and come to Dover and all the other places near Kent. They've also, they say, they claim that they have arrested 13, at least 13 uh, people smugglers as well. So this is, this is good news, fine. But my issue is, They've shut down this camp. They, these people have to go somewhere. And we remember last time what happened in Calais. And then the chaos that that created. And a lot of people decided to just run around. And, you know, of course, illegally, they're not really supposed to be in France anymore at that point because they've broken the rules. How are you going to manage them? Are you going to put all of them in jail? Are you going to try and return them to where they came from? Or what's going to happen are you, are you going to hand them to over to the un for example we're not really sure because if this shutting down the camp results in you know smugglers getting arrested and actually having some sort of organized camp somewhere else instead of north of france fine but like put it somewhere else but if it results into you know having more people getting on the boats because they, they, it's just like anarchy they're all gone rogue that's a different problem now uh, in about half an hour, if you're watching this, when it came out, uh, this video, 5.30, at 6 p.m. on this channel, we have an exclusive expose of uh, how uh, people smugglers are using Instagram to promote their services and to teach uh, uh, people, migrants, illegal migrants, how to pretend to convert to Christianity and other methods to get to the West. So definitely uh, stay tuned if you're watching this later then, then uh, check out the, the video titled exclusive uh, then definitely watch that because that's going to be huge and uh, on that topic we on the main channel my 2 uh, we also have tonight an exclusive discussion with uh, one of the experts on uh, this topic uh, where we're going to discuss uh, the whole uh, instagram story because this is going to be quite huge and that platform Obviously, there's no censorship. We could talk about whatever we want. We don't have to worry about the certain words that we use. So if you want to watch that, then go to myotc.co.uk or just stay tuned for 6 p.m. on this channel and watch the exclusive. Thanks again for watching. I'm MyTC and we are the media.